Brother Kevin. Certainly. Kevin, thank you. Please, Brother Kevin. Two and a half thousand miles away, 35,000 feet above a very blustery Belfast, veteran Captain Steve Freeman and First Officer Ajit Sidhu are getting ready to make their approach. It's below safety altitude. In this sector, it's 3,000. 34 mile an hour crosswinds await them below. The safe limit for a captain to land is just over 43 miles an hour, which means Steve can still choose to go ahead as long as the winds don't get any worse. If we can't get into Belfast, even though everybody would like to get to Belfast, and so would we, if we can't get in, we can't get in. OK, so still 35 up here. Uh, visual with the field now. Landing in crosswinds at Belfast will require a technique called crabbing. Flying sideways towards the runway, the nose of the plane pointed into the wind and then straightening up just before touchdown. The final 100 feet of the descent requiring all of the pilot's skill to hold the Airbus steady as it's buffeted by gusts of wind. When you get 30 knots and it's gusting, that can cause the upset, and it's more challenging. The higher the crosswind, you know, undoubtedly it's more challenging. Really want to control line. Get down. Yeah, down. Less than two minutes before landing. <laughs> Captain Steve takes manual control, then uses the side stick in his left hand to maneuver the plane's nose into the wind. When you're actually coming down in a crosswind, it's all very dynamic. And really, you're just, just constantly battling with the side stick more than anything on the actual approach with, with the upset and the gusts of wind. 500. At any given point during that approach, everybody needs to be happy with what is happening. 30 seconds from touchdown, and in the strong winds, Steve has moments to draw on his expertise to stabilize the plane's movement. 100 above. 50, 40, 30, 20, retard, retard. Captain Steve retard. commits to landing. First green. Please. One down, three to go. You may look so easy. <laughs> 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 That's not what I was feeling in the end. <laughs> Everybody likes a good landing, you know. Uh, it's uh, everybody's got a little bit of touch of pride every now and then, even though they may say they don't. Welcome to Aldergrove. Yeah, great landing. They know how to fly. Also, <laughs> 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 obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but while his passengers are relieved to be back on terra firma, thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye now, GK. For Captain Steve and First Officer Ajit, this is only the beginning. It was okay. It was. It's not as bad as it will be back into Newcastle. So, um, but that was a good one. How many hours have you got now? Fifteen hundred now. Fifteen hundred. <laughs> First officer Ajit and Captain Steve are heading back from Belfast to Newcastle. It's the second of their four flights today. They're just off the coast of northwest England, flying over an extremely breezy Irish sea. Oh, lovely. Just 30 knots across. And wind speeds have continued to increase. Bad news for the more apprehensive passengers. Very nervous. I threw on twice before I came on. I don't fly often. I haven't flown since the year 2000. With some of the strongest winds of the year, it might be more like flying queasy jet today. This is going to be challenging, I think. Yeah. And when one of the most experienced captains in the company says it's challenging, it might be time to worry. Okay, okay let's prepare the camera for that. Yeah. yeah. Every time you're in the right seat, it's going to be a learning day. <laughs> As they approach the runway, 40 mile an hour crosswinds batter the plane, rocking it from side to side. In turbulent conditions, it's not us that is, if you like, stirring the stick. Steve needs to keep the plane level for a safe landing. 500. Steve. 
stable. Minimum. Back on firm ground. That was, that was for me. Thank God for the rosary. <laughs> there is a palpable sense of relief amongst passengers. Just like that, everybody appreciates their life again. I was more nervous for the guys behind there. <laughs> and we fell out of the skies, we did. I'm just glad they were alive. <laughs> but while most passengers are glad the flight is over. So, guys, did you have a good flight? Yeah! Straightforward, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing at you? I'd like to remind Steve that he couldn't have done it if I wasn't there, so. <laughs> just part of the job. After a quick turnaround, Steve and Ajit have just one more return flight to Bristol before they can finally call it a day. Hello there. I bet you're not old enough to know the film Zulu, are you? Ever heard of it? Yeah. Michael Caine? I'm fair back to the future. 88 miles an hour, Marty. That's it, isn't it? Make sure there's a storm. <laughs> And where Steve and Ajit are going, they don't need roads. <laughs>